Welcome back to it, you guys. In this abugele yo nangu bibhambili olucha apa mzansi. Hashtag Uber is what we're all about on the show today. And right now, we're about to get into some Uber awareness, you guys. Now, we are experiencing one of the worst droughts in over 20 years in South Africa, you guys. And, you know, it's caused by a number of problems. Um, and, of course, that also leads to us um, experiencing a hike in food prices because we need water in order to produce food. But it's not all doom and gloom, you guys, because at the end of the day we can empower ourselves with the necessary knowledge to deal with these issues and to help us talk about the El Nino phenomenon is Prof Matthew. Welcome to Hectic Night Night. Welcome back. Thank you so much for chilling with us. So let's actually talk about the El Nino effect. Um, what is it all about? When the Pacific is warmer than normal it's called El Nino. Okay. So why is it only, why is um, this phenomenon related to the Pacific Ocean warming up? When the Pacific is warmer, it rains a lot more in the Pacific and a lot less in Southern Africa. Oh, okay then. So um, how has this effect been affecting South Africa? Well, it's one of the worst drought in 20, maybe 50 years. Last year, there was also a drought and it was a small El Nino in the Pacific. So we are now uh, two years with less rainfall. Okay, can you actually take us through the process of what happens when the El Nino effect happens? Well, what's happening is when it rains mm -hmm. in the Pacific, the air rises okay. and then it will fall down in Southern Africa. There is an atmospheric bridge. And when the air rises down, it prevents rain to happen because for rain to happen, the air needs to rise. Oh, okay, I see. Now, we have been experiencing a bit of rain in the past few weeks, but it seems that our dam levels aren't rising. Why is this? It didn't rain enough. It didn't rain last year, it didn't rain in October, it didn't rain in November, it didn't rain in December, wow, yeah. and it did, didn't rain enough to fill the dam. It has to rain for a few months in a row. Okay, so now um, the opposite of the El Nino phenomenon is La Nina. Can you explain the difference and what La Nina is all about? So, when the Pacific is colder than normal, it's called La Nina and it's okay. good for the rain in Southern Africa. Okay, so is that what we would need to happen um, maybe for um, the drought to actually alleviate itself from what's happening right now? What we need is just a normal year. Oh, okay. So um, what are the things that um, we can do in, in our households to help out with the situation that's happening right now? I think people are doing a lot. First, save water, fix your leaks. But it's the municipality, municipality and the yeah. states. They have to fix the leaks and yeah. they have to manage water better. I think the people, they are trying to save the water already. Yeah. As always, thank you so much, Prof. Matthew, for joining us. I'm sure that our viewers have gained more insights into how we can all help out um, with the situation with the drought. Hectic.